all right guys welcome back to another video i got some good information some information that i've done that i've talked about in the past and uh, i'm actually going to pit it and play as you can see i have the printer going on right now but i am printing out a picture of a big oversized yellow tang because i'm having uh some tang aggression since adding two new fish to my reef tank what you're looking at is me using a big mirror i'm trying to scare get out some of this aggression from the purple tang aka jaws uh, because he was chasing around my scopus tang which i just got and i got a chocolate tang which is weird the yellow fish that you saw right now in the bag is weird because it really didn't go after the uh, yellow tang at all it was going after the scopus for some reason I got the scopus because uh, I wanted to kind of share the aggression so that way one fish wasn't going to get overly beat up which is kind of sad when you're adding it. The uh, mirror seemed to work a little bit and the scopus ended up retreating in the corner of the tank which is really sad. Um, one thing that I am going to do is I'm going to move some uh, frags that I have of red digi and I'm going to surround it by the frag rack I'm going to pit them so that way my uh, scopus can have a little bit of shelter, uh, natural shelter, like the way that my uh, regal tang or my blue hipple tang does. The uh, aggression shown by the purple tang, aka Jaws, was kind of unreal. The thing was swimming all over the tank, uh, bullying, chest bumping the uh, scopus, just like you did in high school, maybe not so much high school, but elementary school and middle school. The old chest bumping and your mama jokes and all that. That's what was happening in this tank with the Scopus. Now the Scopus that I picked out was a pretty good size, but the purple tang was just way, a little bit too bigger. Um, I did change out the Rockscape not too long ago, but uh, really didn't help out. Now I don't pretend to be a subject matter expert by any means at all, but uh, any feedback that you have, drop them down below in the comments. This is just documenting what I've done and what's working for me. I tried everything in the books. I paid extra food, I did some extra feeding, and right now I'm gonna show you how I prepared the food uh, so that way you can see for yourself. It's one thing to hear about it, but it's another thing to actually do it. And what I got here is some mysis cube food and uh, some, some uh, veggie food that I got, which is also frozen. And I'm going to put it in here, but that's not it. I'm going to go ahead and get another uh, addition because usually when the fish get beat up or introduced to a new reef tank or anything, uh, they're going to want a little bit of help. And this garlic power from Brightwell um, is going to help me do that uh, because it's going to help entice the fish to want to eat some more. And uh, a weak fish that's not eating is not going to be a healthy fish so you want to keep them eating as much as possible you also want to show the other fish that there's no threat um, in the food and that there's going to be plenty of food for them too just because we got some addition of new fish i ended up picking up this garlic juice from uh, the lfs at coral reef um, i saw it there and i wanted to try this brand out i've tried the other brand and this stuff is pretty good it smells good but you're gonna want to keep the case because once you're done you're gonna want to put it back in there because the uh, smell is so strong so just go ahead and dissolve this mix it up I am probably um, this is probably way more food than what my fish need but right now I'm just gonna overfeed and you can see the uh, scopus fins have got beat down uh, pretty good this is actually day two of the Scopus and the new uh, chocolate tang being introduced in the tank. Before, he wasn't even swimming out at all. The uh, purple tang, aka Jaws, was there. Wouldn't even give him a, a second chance at all. But it's doing good. Um, it seems to be working. The printed pictures really didn't work. The mirror helped out a little bit. Um, I had some Ehi tongs that I can reach in the tank and stuff. And I had to pretty much separate the uh, purple tang from the Scopus. And uh, it worked while I was there, but when I wasn't next to the tank, you know, the purple tang was up on him. 
what I do want to do next time um, is probably get a bigger mirror because uh, I, I actually taped that mirror up to the glass. I was chasing the uh, purple thing all over the place with the mirror and uh, it seemed to work. But if you keep a bigger mirror and probably keep it on the side of the tank, uh, it's probably going to help you out a lot more. I did feel pretty bad when I introduced this fish because he immediately got uh, attacked by the purple. And uh, it's pretty sad to see your fish get bullied. I was about to uh, try to catch him and pull him out of the tank and put him in my frag tank for the time being. And uh, even take him back to the LFS because uh, my buddy Alan was telling me that it would be fine and be okay. But I'm glad everything is working out. As you can see, the frag rack, I put a whole bunch of stony corals there uh, to kind of give it some shelter. I'm going to show you here in a minute why. Uh, I got this fit, this idea from my fish, uh, the uh, blue hippo tank. It actually gave me the idea because I was sitting there, you know, looking at the tank and figuring out what can I do. It's just open. And uh, my hippo tank loves, loves to hang out in the purple stylo this doesn't get attacked by the purple or at all or anything but it's just a natural barrier that's where it sleeps you know like stick shelter there whenever it it's you know scared or anything and as you can see it's perfectly fine uh, and so i got the idea from my hippo tank to put some uh, sps there on the frag rack up in the corner where the scopus was hiding out so to recap, go ahead and move your frags around. If you have frags like this, a natural shelter for it. Um, use printout pictures, use the mirror, do some extra feeding. Uh, if you can, um, be there and uh, just keep an eye out on your fish. Uh, this will be the last set of tangs that I introduced into my tank. Um, I love the tangs because they're just so pretty and you know they clean up your tank, they do a lot of movement. But uh, this is the last set. This will make four tangs in this in this 150 with the purple, the chocolate, the scopus, and also the hippo tang. So now all I want to do is get some like, little fish. But uh, it it is doing okay. It is doing all right, and uh, I won't be doing that again. Also, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. If you guys have any comments or suggestions drop them down in the comments below and we'll uh, catch you guys on the next video